Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and if you are new then welcome to the channel. So in this video we are going to discuss inverse discrete Fourier transform using DIF that is decimation in frequency FFT that is fast Fourier transform. So in the previous video we have discussed decimation in frequency fast Fourier transform but that was discrete Fourier transform not inverse discrete Fourier transform. So I will take the output that we got uh, as the output of DFT in the previous video. So the sequence of the output in frequency domain was 3 plus j, 1, minus 1 minus j, 0 and 2. So the length of the sequence is 4. Now what is the index order of the input and output? As it is decimation in frequency, the input that is in frequency domain will be in bit reversal order and the output which will be in time domain it will be in normal order so i think you got it because it is in decimation and frequency we took bit reversal of the frequency sequence and the index of the time domain sequence in normal order and i guess you know what is bit reversal and if you don't know then please refer to the previous video you will know everything clearly and you will understand it and after that you come to this video so let's directly draw the butterfly diagram i have took four lines because it is of length four so on the right hand side we will take single butterflies and as we go towards the left hand side we will take the butterflies which are overlapped on another so this is the head so one bottom minus one head one bottom minus one head one head one bottom minus one bottom minus one and also we have to consider w to the power of n power n k terms in the previous video which was discrete Fourier transform we took it on the left bottom leg of the butterfly but a transform we took it on the left bottom leg of the butterfly but in this video we have but in this uh, inverse discrete Fourier transform we are going to take it on the right bottom of the butterfly so we will take w4 of 0 and w4 of this nk this power nk also should be in negative and on the again left bottom we took and here also on the left bottom so this value is 1 1 1 and this is plus j now let's take the input and the output input is frequency domain which is in bit reversal so bit reversal we will take 0 2 1 and 3 and the output will be normal order 0 1 2 so this input is 3 plus j this is 0 this is minus 1 minus j and this is 2 so we will calculate the stage 1 output and stage 2 output one by one let's do it this data will flow up to here 3 plus j and from here it will come minus 1 minus j minus 1 minus j so we will get here 2 and on the next line we got 0 and from here it will come as 2 so we got 2 over here for the third line we got minus 1 minus j into minus 1 so we will get 1 plus j and from here we will get plus 3 plus j so we got 4 plus 2j as it is 1 so there is nothing change in that so from here we got 2 into minus 1 that is minus 2 and from here we got 0 so it is minus 2 and after multiplying with j it will become minus 2j at this point so let's write down the stage 1 output we got 2 2 4 plus 2j and minus 2j now we will calculate the output of stage 2 which is the actual output so we will take 2 uh, let's take it on the first line only 2 into 1 is 2 and from here 2 we got 4 and also from here it is flowing 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 and from here we got plus 2 so it is 0 and again this from here 4 plus 2j and from here we got minus 2j so we got equal to 4 so from for the last line we got 4 plus 2j and from here minus 2j into minus 1 we got plus 2j so 4 plus 4j and in the final line we will multiply 
every output by 1 by 4 1 by 4 as it is inverse discrete Fourier transform we have to multiply every output with 1 by 4 so here we got 4 here we got 0 here we got 4 and here also we got 4 plus 4j now we have to multiply it with 1 by 4 so we will get the output as 1 0 dividing with 4 1 dividing with 4 we get 1 plus j so this is the sequence in time domain and this is in normal order only the index order is normal so we can note it down as 1 0 1 and 1 plus j so this is the sequence so this is the sequence in time domain which is in normal order so that's it until this let's recap what we have done we took the sequence in bit reversal order which is in frequency domain and we took the output in normal order we drew the butterfly first we took single single butterfly on the right hand side and overlap butterflies as we go on the left hand side the input is in bit reversal which is in frequency domain output is in normal order which is in time domain and the w n to the power of n k terms are on the right bottom side of the butterfly and also in the last we multiplied every result by 1 by 4 so we got this output I will show you what was the input for the discrete Fourier transform using DIF FFT. So this input and this input both are same 1 0 1 1 plus j 1 0 1 1 plus j. So in this we have done DFT using IDF FFT that we took the sequence in time domain we calculated the sequence in frequency domain in this discrete Fourier transform we took the sequence in frequency domain and we calculated the sequence in time domain so that is the difference and uh, if we compare the butterfly diagrams and all uh, you can see the input is in frequency domain so this is in bit reversal and the output is in time domain so this is in normal order and here the input is in again time domain so this is in normal order and here the output is in frequency domain so that is in bit reversal order and the butterflies in the discrete Fourier transform are single on the left hand side and overlapped on the right hand side and here as we see the single butterflies are on the right hand side and overlapped butterflies on the left hand side and also the w4 to the power of nk terms are on the right bottom of the butterfly and in this we have it on the left bottom of the butterfly also finally we multiplied every result by 1 by 4 so that's it so yeah that's it for this video if you have understood everything and the comparison between discrete Fourier transform and in the inverse discrete Fourier transform using DIF FFT then don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and and yeah please subscribe to the channel because it gives me motivation to make more such videos and uh, so that it will be helpful to you guys too so that's it for this video i'll meet you in the next one thanks for watching